precious and everlasting Father, your word is your power. Your word is your mind. And no man can tell you what to do or what to say. We bring ourselves under the subjection of your spirit. We ask, speak to us. Let your word reign supreme in the minds of the hearers. Let your mind change situations in their life for the better. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Very quickly today, I want to speak to you on the power of godly music. And I'm sure God just gave us a foretaste of what godly music can do, even though we didn't plan it. The power of godly music. Godly music. What kind of music do you hear? Of course, you know we live in an era of carelessness. Many Christians are careless. Unbelievers, they know more of the university of spirits than Christians. Many Christians are poor in knowledge. What do you hear? What do you listen? What do you dance to? What do you keep in your mind? The child of God ought to be intelligent. And many of us have chosen foolishness. If you have been foolish about music, may God deliver you today. I'm going to read three scriptures in a row. And then we we'll go into the word. Second Kings chapter 3 verse 15. But now bring me a minstrel. That's an old English for musician. And it came to pass when the minstrel played that the hand of the Lord came upon him. This was a man of God, Elisha. He said, when the musician played, he said, the hand of God, the hand of God came upon him. And in 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 23, 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 23, and it came to pass. Can you read with me? One to go. That is the second evidence. You cannot read these scriptures without coming to a clear conclusion that music is powerful. Music has a powerful effect in the realm of the spirit. In fact, if you can, write it down. Music is a language of the realm of the spirit. Which one do you surround yourself with? Which one are you giving your children to hear? Acts chapter 16, verse 25 to 26 and at midnight Paul and Silas prayed and sang and sang praises unto God and the prisons the prisoners heard them and suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaken and immediately all the doors were open and everyone's bands were loosed there is a kind of music that causes earthquake there's a kind of music that breaks down doors of limitation. May you play that one from today. Amen. May you hunger after that one from today. Amen. The Bible is filled with evidence that tells us very clearly that music is powerful. Music is, is powerful. Music has influence in the realm of the spirit. My message today is a wake-up call on the type of music that you as a christian you are listening to it's a wake-up call music no matter the type of music music first of all ministers to the spirit before it ministers to your mind no matter the type of music it summons spirits personalities or what we call entities spirit entities it summons them down to the earth so what spirit is your music inviting into your mind into your soul many of you know i was opportune to know many people who were part of the oboni fraternity you can't have an oboni confraternity meeting without music and the music is eerie chang 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 
it sounds like what you hear in the buddhist temple the hindu temple listen the devil is devil anywhere you go it's the same devil i just spoke to you about oboni music is very crucial to every occult group and you tell me that pastor i like the instrument i like the way it sounds i like the tune if your your settlement for music is all about instruments you are deceived greatly deceived so what spirit is your music inviting into your mind into your soul what kind of spirits are you inviting into your car are you inviting into your home what kind of music are you streaming today's generation they are in another world their ears are blocked in the train in the car even out in the road in the first scripture that we read elisha invited a musician to play for him at the time when it was the, there was a tough challenge about four three to four kings with israel among them were having a severe battle and the soldiers were now in the wilderness they've been fighting for days they had no water and if they had no water it's like having no fuel for their tanks how are they going to fight and they called on the man of god and the man of god said bring me a musician right there in the desert and they brought him a musician and when the musician played the hand of god came upon his life there is a music that puts the hand of god upon your life and there is a music that puts the hand of the devil on your life and miracle happened in the desert when the hand of god came upon him the man of god spoke he said by this time by the time of the evening sacrifice he said the whole desert will be covered like a river and with that miracle they triumphed over their enemy music was instrumental to their victory music can be instrumental to your defeat there are so many ways the devil defeats people even though you fast and pray even though you give tight even though you go to church in our second scripture we saw how david played for king saul and the evil spirit tormenting the man left him and he was a free man in the third scripture we saw how two believers were imprisoned unjustly and at midnight they began to sing to the lord they began to praise god and the unthinkable happened doors opened without keys chains broke and when you hear some of these things they sound to you like fairy tale but it is real it has been duplicated again and again music my beloved invites spirits music can expel spirits music can house spirits oh maha vados the bible says that for he inhabits the praise of his people inhabit means live god lives in the praises of his people do you praise god do you know that praise brings down god you saw what happened a while ago when we started you didn't you didn't see that you didn't hear that it was praise that ushered it in this is why a ministry that has a good praise and worship will have the holy ghost dwelling in there and when the holy ghost is there everybody lives a life that is productive there are musics and there are musics let me just take you down memory lane see whether you are still human beings and you observe the things that i observe there's a kind of music that when you play your hair stands headache comes upon you they are not ordinary many of you who like music you know that music induces spirit you sit down there's a music you will play you will sleep there is a music you play you will get angry there is a music that you play you want to be immoral in the bible in mark chapter 6 you remember that it was a kind of music that was played that herodias daughter danced to that when they asked her to name a prize for her beautiful dancing you know and that those kinds of dancing herodias daughter's dances back you know those ones they go against the wall that was the kind herodias daughter danced and herod was so pleased his head was torn by the devil 
and when they get they asked the girl to name a price they offered the girl half the kingdom they offered her half the kingdom she said i don't want it i said what do you want say give me the head of john the baptist is that the kind of music you are hearing that is asking for people's lives asking for people's heads you got to be kidding me if you think that music is just one simple component is it just mu it's just music music is crucial to the hindu celebration any hindu celebration that you go to and you don't have singing it's not hinduism you've seen taipusam one of the highest heights of taipusam at batu caves is music when they jam those drums and jam those drums come and see spirits jumping into people possessing them and when he possesses them they will use knife and pierce themselves no no drop of blood you think it's normal it's not normal go to india i've been to india 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 is one place you must visit after you visit india go to israel these are the two most enchanted places in the world i would have asked you to go to iraq and syria old babylon but devils are fighting each other there so don't go there now <laughs> that used to be a cage of demons go to india you will see people carrying cobra in bags and the man will blow the flute doo -doo -doo. the thing will turn the neck this way and then go back into the bag and you tell me it's normal that kind of music and anywhere listen devil is devil anywhere you go the chief symbol of satan anywhere you go is serpent any that old serpent that's what the bible call him he's still there he is central to every religion he's there in christianity he's there in genesis chapter one you will see him there the serpent that old lucifer may he not deceive you may he not deceive you may he no longer deceive you in the name of jesus christ how about the music in your village those of you who have masquerades that matter the masquerades that people fast to carry it when that music begin to sound even if it's your brother that is under that masquerade you will not understand him anymore he's completely taken over by the music but i um, want to open your eyes so that when you leave here today you go and make a research you see we are spirits forget this body that you see us carrying and dressing our real nature is spirit you are a spirit man and you need to be concerned about your spiritual well-being your affairs how about the music we hear today look around you they are not music ordinary music it's not normal it invokes lust it invokes sexual immorality even on nursery students and their mothers are clapping for them i don't have to tell you about hollywood music almost without exception this information is there now thank god for social media they are there for you to go and watch they are not here say go and look at beyonce's videos and you tell me it's art it's not art it is demonic it's just that many of you don't know the symbols you don't know the signs one grace that i have is that no matter any country that i go i look out for signs of satan if i go around this assembly now this church now one by one and i examine your clothes from pattern on the neck to your chain that you wear i will tell you the reason why you can't sleep because many of us are celebrating satanism without knowing it we're celebrating occult without knowing it and satan is not omnipresent i keep telling you that satan is not everywhere at, at the same time but what he uses to be everywhere at the same time is what you carry is what you carry that is why if they don't give you a charm he doesn't work you've got to be a wise believer and take heed to your life so that you can remain in the victorious zone and not in defeat all the time almost any hollywood star that makes it to stardom is a satanist many of them have confessed many of them have come out they are out there for you to go and read their songs cast a spell on you a spell means they cast a spirit on you they invite a spirit on you many of you who like music you know that music induces spirit you sit down there's a music you will play you will sleep there is a music you will play you will get angry 
there is a music that you play you want to be immoral go to nightclub when you go to nightclub you don't see white light you see blue light red light green light and then there's one that flashes in fact one day i'll preach to you about the light of lights all kinds of light everybody under that light is under a hood it's under a hood most women who walk in there innocently when they come out they don't know what happened and the music that they play there is very dodgy very eerie either it is too soft softer than soft or it's noisier than gone but all these are sacrifices in order to hold a spirit in that place hollywood in the 80s there's a music group that is called the fallen angels go and google and find out fallen angels and who are they playing for if you know the origin of music you will understand that satan himself satan it's when he was an archangel he was the one that was in charge of ushering praise into god's presence when satan fell satan fell with his musical abilities because that was his ministry before he fell because that was the position that he had in heaven and he still has an interest in it go to any church the worst scene is in the praise and worship i'm telling you the worst iniquity is in praise and worship but not in this one in jesus name this is why there is no praise and worship individual they come here some of them come to our church they learn one or two things they run out and they become uh, hired hands and when they want to go they will threaten first hey, if you don't do this if you don't do me this one i'll go if you don't do me this i'll go so i said come i'll give you transfer money to go because when you keep them they corrupt if satan was kept in heaven he would have corrupted some more they kicked him out so that there will be decency music is not ordinary if i can get that into your spirit michael jackson have you heard michael jackson playing on con in concerts he's late now but in the days when he plays women come under spell they pull off their bra and they pull up some of them go naked it's not normal there is a spirit that is invoked upon them you must go from entertainment pleasing yourself to preserving your life some of the music that you hear that are popular you know hotel california welcome to hotel california when you play it backwards it's insulting god it's insulting god it is actually a song in complete denigration of god this is why many hollywood music invite violence this is why many music stars in hollywood they commit suicide this is why they live on drugs this is why if you find a hollywood star that makes it beyond 60 years old something there's something there the music stirs up lust it stirs up addiction it is a very sad story i'm telling you because the much of the world is in a bind but I'm praying by this message. If you are in that bind, may you come out of it in the name of Jesus Christ. It's a hypnosis, a kind of hypnosis. People don't know what they are doing. But may the word of God that goes forth, may he break that gap upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. A music can never be different from the man behind it or the woman behind it. If you want to know whether the source of a music, look at the life of the man singing it and the life of the woman singing it every music every song has a spirit behind it and there is a singer behind it and there is a song you have to ask yourself who does the singer belong to what is uh, his song saying let me take you very quickly to um psalm 36 verse 1 is it possible you give me the introduction i think it's in the introduction to the chief musician do you have it in your king james the introduction of this psalm will say to the chief musician a psalm of david a servant of god i mean he said to the chief musician a song of david a servant of god so throughout the psalms you see that so who is behind the music that you listen to are they servants of god or are they servants of the devil 
when you get that music label that you hear it even many of you carry very good apps music apps it tells you the name of the person it tells you the 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 title of the lyric even it tells you the year it was produced those are information for you to decide what you want to choose i will not give my soul to a satanist i will not give my lip to a satanist because i know who they represent i know who their master is who is behind the music that you listen to are they servants of god or are they servants of the devil are they servants of god are they servants of the devil praise the lord rise up on your feet at this time i like you to pray my father my father, my father, my father. the little that i'm hearing is troubling my spirit i come to you with the whole of my heart as i hear your word let every lie of the devil be broken in my soul be broken in my spirit from today the music that i play the music that i hear the music that i sing shall no longer invite the devil shall no longer invite evil spirits i command my ear to reject that which is of the devil i command my spirit to refuse that which is of the devil give me the same man the music i play in my home in my car in the office now give me the grace to understand the origin so that i expose not my spirit in the name of jesus christ we pray may the lord hear your prayer in the name of jesus christ by your prayer today i put a division between you and the corruption of music by your prayer and by this message i put a discernment in your spirit that as you live here your spirit will reject that which is unholy in the name of jesus christ that which used to entertain you before that which used to excite you before i command that entertainment to be bound in the name of jesus christ let the fear of god replace it in jesus mighty name we pray be seated let me just round up do not be deceived the music you listen to determines the company you keep in the realm of the spirit the message is a wake-up call on the danger of listening associating dancing to singing the wrong kind of music i'm going to show you some benefits of godly music i don't want to go into ungodly music because it's very much around our society the effects of ungodly music is everywhere number one godly music invites godly spirits the bible says that god inhabits the praise of his people when you start praising god god comes down you saw what happened just now it's not just exclusive to today it happens everywhere where men and women genuinely worship god his spirit comes down if you want to hear god speak into your life you want to hear god move in miracles in signs and wonders surround yourself with godly music surround your car your home with godly music you see these little children i've told you they are thermometers of god's spirit for me whenever you see god's spirit descend you will see them rush to the pulpit and i don't like disturbing them at that time that's why i was trying to tell one mother i said leave that boy alone because the bible said unto them are what the kingdom of god unto them belong the kingdom of god so anything about the kingdom pulls them naturally to god this is why when you have children who come to church when they go back home they are singing the songs in the church you'll be asking yourself who taught them who taught them inside of them there is there is a mechanism that adapts but some of the mothers will say shut up what are you singing I want you to sing me Ella 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 Eba Eba Ella Ella sing that one and you prepare the child for doom so godly music invites godly spirit surround yourself with it on a daily basis this is why in Ephesians chapter 5 we are advised Ephesians chapter 5 15 to 19 we are advised to sing in our hearts do you sing in your heart one of the powerful impact of music is not just singing it aloud but singing it in your heart melodies keeping the melodies alive in your spirit it will surround you with god's spirit this is why a good morning devotion 
Good morning, devotion. First thing you do in the morning when you get good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. I know you come from. You know that when you there's a level you sing it, the song will become will enter inside of you. And then when you leave out from the house, you are surrounded by spirits. Spirits. I told you those days in Malaysia when there was now there is there is, there is Malaysia has come down. In 96, 90, 97, 98, Malaysia was a very tough place. Except we pray through in the morning, we don't go out. And we'll pray most of all two hours, three hours in the morning, pray until you become like kite. Like you're walking in thin air. When we go out to do business, there's a days when they had the mini bus, the white and pink bus. Those days, the bus will be packed full. You won't have any space even to stand. But with that morning, tonic that we have covered ourselves with with that spirit you see when when i when i go near the seat people will get up from the chair <laughs> i'm telling you they will get up from the chair they will they will do like this not that i'm smelling no i'm making sure i'm perfumed well and when they get up i go and sit down because i know what i'm carrying i'm confronting what they're carrying may you find time to worship god on a daily basis if you don't know how to sing play music constantly surround yourself with it now we have live streaming open the youtube and play songs and let it soak you before you leave the house number two godly music expels evil spirits we saw it in the case of saul the kind that drove these evil spirits away from king saul where no other music could drive evil spirits away from him it was godly music that drove that away music is associated with deliverance any demon chaser knows that one i have ample examples there is no time this is why in the bible there is what we call the songs of deliverance psalm 32 verse 7 songs of deliverance there are certain songs that have the grace to deliver talk to any deliverance minister and he will tell you there are songs satan doesn't want to hear particularly the songs on the blood music it's such a powerful weapon in the hands of a man of god during deliverance Praise the Lord. If music invites spirits, the USB in your house that is filled with worldly music will invite this evil spirit in your car. With this understanding, go through CDs, go through videos, and clean up your house so that you can have good association, good spiritual association. Take a decision. Number three, godly music heals. Heals. Today, people no longer meditate on songs. Songs heal. David said, For he took my feet out of a mire clay, put it upon the rock, and he put a new song in my mouth. That was when, when he was down. And that is how God lifted him up through meditative singing and praise. Godly music heals it's the kind of healed soul of oppression of depression of stress godly music relaxes i have not seen yet a better solution to stress as godly music particularly you're in the habit of playing it in the car all around you surround yourself with it it is a good bam to help you get through life i don't encourage you to play instruments that you don't know what the words are because Oboni does the same. Ekanka, they do the same. Amok, they do the same. They play music that you don't know the song. You don't know, you don't know the, the lyrics. You don't know what is in it. He said, Pastor, I love jazz. What is inside? Except if it is jazz that I know that it is a song that I know, I will not entertain it. Number four. Godly music empowers prayer. You want to know why your prayer life is dry? You have no song. Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 1 says a prayer of Habakkuk the prophet upon Shiganot. That's a music note. It said Habakkuk the prophet. He prayed with music. Music can put revival in your spirit. Have you ever been in prayer and then you remember an old song that you sang many years ago that brought revival in your heart? And as you sing it the first time, sing it the second time, the third time, you're in a different level. Fasting will be such a terrible pain and oppression without singing. So, godly music powers your prayer life this is why for every major revivalist you see in the world there is somebody singing with them somebody like dl moody 
had a man called Sankey. He read D. Sankey. He compiled the songs of solos. Somebody like a John Wesley, he had his brother Charles Wesley to sing along with him. Billy Graham that died recently, he had a man called Beverly Sher that sang along with him in all his crusades. Godly music, it brings revival. It spurs revival. And so add it to your singing. Number five, godly music instills godly fear. If you want to surround yourself with holiness, surround yourself with righteousness, it, righteous, the push of righteousness, the push of holiness. If you want to help your flesh not to overcome you and bind you like a prisoner to sin, godly music creates an environment of holiness around you. It reduces temptation around you. Are you listening to me? In fact, godly music, particularly the type that deals with heaven, will keep you rapturable. Eternal life. I want to live in eternity. God save my soul. You can't sing that song and commit fornication. You cannot. Godly music, number six, it's a potent weapon in spiritual warfare. We use it like a sword in spiritual warfare. Psalm 149 verse 6 says, Praises are like double-edged sword in the mouth of a believer. God uses it to execute vengeance. There are times I don't pray for people who who are enemies for people who want to destroy me i don't pray i don't bind i don't i just hold them up in my mind and i worship god i hold them up in my mind and i sing say lord you know what to do best to that individual nothing releases angels how many of you remember jehoshaphat in uh, second chronicles verse 20 at uh, second chronicles chapter 20 14 to 28 go back home and read it jehoshaphat and his people were overwhelmed by i think about four nations three to four nations besieged his country to defeat them in war and when they talked about how would they face this great army the prophet said to them just send singers ahead of you put singers ahead and the singers were put ahead and they were just saying give thanks to yahweh well in his holiness is everlasting and while they were singing god set ambush against the enemies and they were defeated how many of you remember the wall of jericho it was just a trumpet and shout of praise that collapsed that wall of jericho seven godly music activates prophecy a good morning devotion will move from singing to declaration from singing to prophecy you start prophesying it shall be well with this person it shall be well with that person today no power fashioned against me it's music that provokes it godly music provokes prophecy it provokes revelation i have so many scriptures but this is sunday we don't give you too many scriptures if we worshiped a little while more just now in this place before we decided to stop if we just moved a little more now you will see that there are prophets and prophetess is here it will release them and they will start speaking because god oh my you know god writes music like a cloud like a cloud to come to his people godly music exalts god alone when you go to any church where they are singing about the pastor leave that church immediately these are some of the signs of satanism that has eroded the nigerian churches Godly music never praises a man of God. Never praises the choir. When a music artist begins to praise people in his songs, hear him not. He is not coming from the same place as you. He said, receive my praise, oh God. It is unto God and not unto man. Don't waste your praise. Praising man. And godly music is a weapon in the mouth of children. Children learn best through songs. We teach them how to sing godly music. Psalm 8.2 says it's a strength and a sword in their mouth. So knowing all these things, my beloved, I want to encourage you. Fill your mouth with praise. Fill your mouth with worship. Particularly early in the morning. Fill your environment. Fill your home and office and car with praise. If you don't know how to sing, at least play an instrument. Learn how to play. If you can play, you can clap your hand. At least everybody can play tambourine. 
get one for yourself not just in the church but get it in the house if you know how to play guitar for yourself at home it's a wonderful worship aid you know how to play piano is a wonderful worship aid thank you jesus don't patronize the songs of sinners no matter how entertaining knowing all this learn not to miss worship service many of you come to service after the worship you come when the time the holy spirit have finished visiting people this is why those days when we, when once worship is going on nobody is let in because let come as they stop god's move and god's spirit don't miss worship service today people are careless they come to church when they want to they just stroll in they've not understood the mystery of worship knowing this we want to ask our brothers and sisters in the praise and worship to to sing godly songs for us to sing godly melodies thank you jesus Mavadele, rise up on your feet i see the lord making a huge difference this week Kabahadai. he said pastor i have been in difficulty so much i i challenge you when you go out this week this week for the next seven days i want somebody to worship the lord i want somebody to praise the lord I want somebody to exalt his holy name. I want somebody to wake up in the middle of the night and begin to sing his high praises. I want somebody to rise and begin to clap in the old fashioned way. He neither sleeps nor slumbers. With your praise in this season, I ask that every, every power that has been ruling in your affair, may they be dislodged by the praise of the Most High. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Clubbers, pop house visitors, beware. Make today your day of redemption and go no more to these ungodly places. Father, we have heard your word and we want to thank you. You gather your people to edify them and I believe that your people are edified. I therefore ask you now father every spirit that has been invited by the wrong music spirits that were invited that are causing mental havoc causing sickness causing oppression spirits that have come they have been invited and material losses have been following by my message now i judge them in the name of jesus wherever they are in the body in the soul in the spirit please all eyes closed all hands lifted up to the lord every property of the devil that is planted by ungodly music i therefore set you on fire now set you on fire i set you on fire i set you on fire i set you on fire in the name of jesus christ every heavy load that people are carrying because of the wrong music that they gave their soul to i command it now offload offload it offload it offload it offload it offload it offload it in the name of jesus christ thank you father we're living here delivered we're living here released we're living here a new man and a new woman in the name of jesus christ